Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Thursday to you and happy weekend as we're getting things started here on a hot note as we're going to be gearing up for the early taste of July before we know it. I'm with the Dustin Staples. Appreciate your company as always. It's going to be a hazy and hot weekend in the making. The good news is it's not going to be uh, long, uh, staying around longer than we expected. So that's some good news. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago showing, you know, maybe a duration of this lasting several days. Thankfully, uh, things have calmed down with that and we're not going to be talking about a massive heat wave, but it's going to feel cooler uh, as we get towards the upcoming week. But again, hot and humid has been the theme today. If you've been out and about, you're probably noticing the humidity is up there. Our dew points, basically these the amount of moisture that's measured in the atmosphere have been in the mid 60s. So that early muggy uh, summer feel is here for sure. And definitely reminder that summer is just a couple of, well, roughly about a month away, but the unofficial start of summer, as you know, kicks off next weekend, which is Memorial Day weekend. And we'll talk more about that once we get closer to that time frame as well. To the rest of the afternoon, though, temperatures staying in the mid 80s, humid and limited rain chances out here, out and about tonight. Our temperatures are going to be dropping in the mid 60s out there. So other than that, a very um, warm and humid week or start to the weekend is going to be in place for us with general cloudy skies tonight with a calm wind expected. Your general overnight lows for the next couple or for the area wide tonight again, low 60s, muggy and uh, maybe a stray shower possible. But again, most areas will remain on the dry side, low 60s everywhere you go. So uh, everywhere you're going to be heading out tonight, the cool spot is actually going to be in the city tonight. So how about that? We're going to remain uh, one of the cool spots here in uh, south side. Area-wide temperatures tomorrow. Let's talk about this map here. I know there's a lot going on here with this. So let's kind of break this down for you. You see the caution symbol. So let me cover up the most, uh, the rest of the area. Here's our friends in Meadows of Dan. I'm so jealous because y'all going to be at 86 tomorrow. But however, though, the real feel is going to feel more somewhere between 90 and 99 tomorrow for everybody. So that's what that caution symbol is out here warning you. Please take uh, precautions working out tomorrow. Record heat is in the making. So we'll see if we can beat any records tomorrow for our Friday. Not as much on Saturday as we'll get to start cooling down a little bit. We have a stationary front that's going to start lining up uh, for us to give us some scattered showers going into the weekend and the next week too. So we'll cool down 92 here in Stewart. Same story outside of Fair. 94 in Martinsville. Yowzers, uh, 95 outside of Ridgeway. So obviously it's going to feel a lot hotter there. Their heat next values could possibly hit 100 uh, here for the city and also Ridgeway, Axton, Sandy level uh, going towards 57 and 58 areas here in this general part of the county. 93 outside of Boone's Mill and Rocky Mount. So tomorrow is going to be a day where you need to please take care of yourself take extra breaks if you are working outdoors. I know a lot of schools are still in session, so maybe a good day to roll all the windows down on the buses so you can have some of that air circulating around you. Or, you know, maybe if you're driving your car uh, to work or school in the morning, just keep in mind that, you know, you're going to want to have that AC first thing uh, with you tomorrow morning and all day. So, but if you are working outdoors, a lot of our construction people and a lot of our outside uh, VDOT crews and those uh, facilities out there doing their works, let them, you know, hey, watch out for them, you know, better yet, if you see somebody working on the side of the road, if it's a whether if it's a, a public works or a VDOT crew worker, and a bottle of water, they, I'm sure they would greatly appreciate you doing that for them. So record heat tomorrow, please, please take care of yourself because we do not want to be reporting heat fatalities um, already early in the season. So just keep that in mind. Obviously, if you do suffer from, you know, any of these um, medical conditions where you can't be outside for a short amount of time, just keep that in mind as it is going to be, again, pretty toasty out there. Generally sunny, hazy, hazy and hot there. Now we'll have a southwest breeze here in the city about 10 to 15. So a little more of the breeze out there, but it's not going to be a comfortable northwest breeze as we would probably prefer uh, for this time of year. Something to keep in mind, you want to also have your sunblock with you. Keep a hat or some sort of sunshade on you because, you know, you don't want to be a, a crispy Red face, as I like to call it. I've learned my lesson already twice this year to have sunblock on me. So I uh, do have that on standby if you're out and about. I know you want to get outside and it's going to be warm and 
uh, do anything early in the morning or wait till after sun or right around the sunset hour. So when things maybe cool off, maybe do some yard work way before the sunrise or right on sunrise time, which is about 615. Now we'll have uh, that coming up for you next week. We'll start showcasing our sunrises uh, and times on here too. Saturday graduation from Martinsville. It's just going to be hot. Uh, I know it's early in the morning. Eight, you know, a lot of students had to get there about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So just keep in mind, it's going to be very hot uh, through the early morning by noontime, as this is an outdoor graduation this weekend. Have a lot of your sunblock with you. You know, have an umbrella with you. You know, if you pop an umbrella up above you, prevent that shade on you. And if you're lucky enough, maybe you can get a little, uh, if you uh, get a can a canopy, you know, kind of tent wise, uh, it'd be uh, smart for you, maybe doing some outdoor afterwards graduation celebratory uh, celebrations. You might have pop up a tent and uh, have under that uh, for sure a hat and uh, take breaks. So if you're going to be doing anything outdoors after graduation on Saturday, do know you're going to want to stay indoors. Or if you do have plans to be outside, have some popsicles and some ices. Uh, do whatever you can to stay cool and maybe a stray shower, but things are going to remain dry. Sunday, the relief finally comes here with some afternoon scattered showers and storms. So maybe if you're waiting to celebrate on Sunday, you may want to do it indoors too, because we'll have a chance of some showers and storms moving in highs of the low to mid 80s out there. We may see some storms linger in the late night hours on your Sunday evening, but things will be start to cool off as you make your way towards Monday, 78 there. So Back to where we need to be for our average highs for the nut time of this year. So lows been in the mid 50s. Again, some scatter storms will be out there uh, as well. So other than that, it's going to be a toasty weekend. Uh, if you have to be outdoors, take breaks, listen to your body, uh, hydrate before you think you're thirsty because a lot of times that happens that water has enough uh, time to settle in your system and you can kind of have an enjoyable, you know, first few times. But obviously, take breaks. Uh, don't overwork yourself because you'll have heat exhaustion and of course you'll have a heat stroke on top of that. So you don't want to exert yourself from being on this hot uh, asphalt even uh something you know i saw this recently on a social media thread that's been going on on social media you know if the asphalt you know for your pets if the temperature is 77 that asphalt's already 112 degrees temperatures of the asphalt or if the air temperature is in the low 80s and low 90s that asphalt temperature is already in the 120 to 140 range so be careful for your pets out there make sure they are, are safe so their paws you know they're sensitive out there including your cats too make sure they have a nice little area to have a cool spot maybe if you want to go ahead you know have the pool open you have my permission to have it open so maybe you want to have a pool party after graduation hey go for it uh that's the way i like to do things if it's going to be hot out open the pool or if you don't know have so if you don't have a pool if you know someone that does say hey ask them if you can come hang out with them because you're going to need to find a cool spot to remain chill this weekend all right everybody take care have a wonderful weekend look after yourself a couple of hot days this weekend will cool off as you make your way towards next week take care everybody we'll see you in monday here on btw 21 news as well as for the weekend review as well your btw 21 weather forecast is sponsored by zent